Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Pulp Crazy. I'm your host, Jason Aiken. In this week's episode, I will be discussing The Man from the Atom by G. Peyton Wharton Baker. This short story was published in two parts in the April and May 1926 issues of Amazing Stories, which were the first two issues of the magazine. This is a science fiction story starring Kirby. He works for Professor Martin, testing out experiments for him. In this instance, the professor has invented a device that allows someone to alter their size at the press of a button. The device has three vertical buttons. The bottom button will decrease your size. The middle button will cause a halt to your size change. And the top button will increase your size. The professor puts Kirby in a special suit that will protect him from the complications of space travel and straps the device to Kirby's chest. Kirby grows so large he is able to leave the planet and travel through space to other planets. He grows so large that he compares Earth to an atom, and Wharton Baker does make some allusions to the similarities between how solar systems are structured throughout the universe and the atomic structure of matter. Between the size changing, space travel, and even a bit of time travel elements, a story doesn't get much more sci-fi than this. It's a fun little story, and Professor Martin's device reminds me of the belt Ray Palmer, the Silver Age Adam from DC Comics used. I'm not sure if this story would eventually inspire Julius Schwartz, Gil Kane, and Gardner Fox to create Ray Palmer, who is, after all, named after a science fiction pulp editor, but I wouldn't doubt it. The Silver Age comic creators were huge science fiction fans. As for The Man from the Atom, it seems the inspiration for this particular story is rooted in Alice's Adventure in Wonderland, written by Lewis Carroll. I couldn't find a whole lot of information on the author G. Peyton Wharton Baker at first. Apparently, the G stands for green. He has a few other science fiction stories credited on ISFDB, and the Fiction Mag's index states he has had a letter published in Weird Tales in the past. However, the Science Fiction Encyclopedia has a lot of information on him. According to the SF Encyclopedia, Wharton Baker wrote The Man from the Atom at age 15. He would write a few more science fiction stories, but then would change the genres to write regional stories. He then became a business magazine editor prior to serving in World War II. After the war, he turned to journalism and wrote more regional stories, before becoming involved in the space industry. He would eventually work for NASA, and he would become the chief historian of the Medical Aerospace Division. He passed away in 1968. I'll put a link to all of these sites in the show notes. They contain a great deal more about him. The Man from the Atom is available for free on the Pulp Magazine's Projects website. They have the first two issues of Amazing Stories available in PDF or flipbook format on their site. I'll be sure to include these links in the show notes.
It's a fun story that I think science fiction fans will enjoy. That's it for this week's episode. Pulp Crazy is located at pulpcrazy.com. I'm at Pulp Crazy on Twitter and Facebook.com slash Pulp Crazy. My YouTube channel is YouTube.com slash Pulpcast. You can also email me at pulpcrazy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.